Hey everybody, welcome to Ask LBC. My name is Jake Woolbecker. I'm the associate pastor here at LBC, and I'm joined today by Mike Sluter. He's one of our elders here at the church, and uh, I'm so excited today, Mike. We are talking about a tough question, uh, and it's and it's this: Does a six-day creation really even matter? You know, this is this is a question that even among Christians, there's uh, there's not necessarily unity on this. Uh, there's there's a lot of disagreement on how do we understand the first 11 chapters of the Bible. Uh, but uh, boy, at LBC, we, we hold to a six-day, literal day creation. Uh, why, why is that? What, what are some reasons that, uh, that we would believe in that? Yeah, the, um, a six, 24-hour day, literal, uh, is what I'd like to say. And I know that's what you meant. Uh, but you know, it's so interesting. The first five words in the Bible, as they start off, are in the beginning, God created. Yeah. And I just think that that's so important for us to remember that as well. That implies the reality of God eternal sure. before time, if you want to do that. But you already mentioned it, you know, Genesis 1 through 11. It's such, uh, all our answers are right in there. Yeah. And uh, if we just take the time, read it, um, you look at that, it, those chapters there, they'll, they'll reveal to us uh, the beginning creation of the universe, of time, of space, uh, and also a lot of a lot of firsts for human beings. Sure. So marriage, family, the fall, um, sin, redemption, even and nations and languages. Yeah. Um, so all of that is all packed right in. A lot those going first, on there. A lot going on there, right in those first eleven chapters, like that. Um, and a lot of what I just listed, those are some of, as you alluded to earlier, some of the most controversial topics sure. yep. from the national news all the way down to the, a coffee table, right? Sure. Where two brothers, two sisters are talking back and forth, whatever the case. But So I think uh, where the challenge then becomes is... What, what, do we, what do we believe and how do we believe it? There's a lot of different views. And we're not going to get into all those today, but sure. I think there's really, there's like two points that I'd really like to make if I can do that. So you already mentioned, uh, does a six-day creation really even matter? And as you alluded to us here at LBC, we believe it does. Sure. It's very important to us. And I think one of the first points is this, um, is that it, when we believe in that six-day, 24-hour um, that Jesus talks about in Genesis. If we don't, if we deny that, that actually will undermine Jesus's credibility. Sure. And I'll give you a couple of examples on why that is the case. Um, Jesus himself, when he was on this earth, uh, uh, he believed in a literal creation account. If you look at Mark 10, sure. verse 6, he says, but from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Sure. And, you know, the other thing that's interesting, we looked at Genesis, and there's some other verses in Exodus as well. Yeah. Now, who are the authors of those two books? Right. Well, for, for someone in our camp, we're going to say Moses is the Correct. author. Jesus, Jesus refers to the Pentateuch as, as Moses writing that. So he's writing Exodus, mm -hmm. and he's writing Genesis. Yeah. And one of the things Jesus said when he was on this earth that, I mean, this is probably what really solidifies it with me, was in John 5, verses 46 and 47. Jesus said, for if you believe Moses, who were the authors of the first two books of the Bible, uh, you would believe me, being Jesus. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Sure. And um, then when you look at, so again, we look at Exodus, the six days, and then on the seventh day we rest, Exodus 20, verse 11 says, For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and restored on the seventh day, therefore, and rested on the seventh day, therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Yeah. Um, to me, I, I just, again, I come back to that first point. If, if we don't take the six 24 hour day periods literally, like the Bible presents, I, I think that we're just not undermining, we are undermining Jesus' authority. Yeah, you know, I, you bring up Exodus, I think that's a really good point. You know, Moses is, 
he's trying to, to make a defense for why the Sabbath? Mm. You know, why should we have six 24-hour periods and then on a seventh 24-hour period rest? Why would we do that? Sure. And his entire basis for that is that's how the earth was created. You have six 24-hour periods and then God rests. And so I, I think that's interesting. If Moses is the one writing uh, Genesis 1 and Exodus 20, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, it seems very clear that he believes in, in a six 24-hour day creation. So I, I think that's, that's really important. Absolutely, absolutely. So that, to me, that's the first, um, first point that I'd like to make. The second point is this. I, I just believe that if we deny that um, 24-hour, six-day creation, as we just talked about, that that actually it shakes the foundation of the Bible. Sure. I've, I've talked to, to Christians that I know love the Lord, and they say, you know, what you really need, Jake, to get saved is you need to know that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. We need to repent uh, of our sins, and we need to just, by faith, uh, by faith alone. I totally agree with that. However, I mean, when you and I walked into this building today, I mean, I don't know about you, but I did not even consider the walls or the ceiling falling in on me. Sure. It's a 20-year-old building plus, and I felt very good about it because of the foundation holding everything up. Sure. If we take that thought that creation is a secondary issue, I'm afraid that it will just erode away the foundation of the Bible. Sure. So that to the point even then someone could come in and say, well, even what Jesus did for us on the cross, is that even true? Sure. Well, that's a good point. You know, Paul, uh, as he's developing his doctrine of sin, which that's, I mean, that's a, you talk about a foundation. If, if there's not a problem of sin, why, why do we have to have Jesus come? Well, where did this problem of sin come? It's interesting, Paul, I, I think uh, he, he reaches back to, and this is the important point, the historical Adam. And he's saying, Adam is a historical person. He existed. He's not just a, a, a myth. Uh, he's saying that person sinned and brought death into the world, Romans 5. So, so that really is a, a key issue, just, just the whole idea of where does this problem of sin come from? It comes from Adam sinning and that bringing, that bringing sin into the world. And so uh, I think there's, there's value in pointing to that and saying, listen, Paul believed in, in a historical Adam and, and so should we. Right, absolutely. And Genesis 3 tells us that. I mean, that's what Romans 5 is referring to, as you already uh, said right there. Um, so really, Jake, that's where, uh, that's where I'm going to fall on. There's a lot of other things that we could talk about, but I just believe when one would really prayerfully study uh, the first 11 chapters of Genesis, um, you can only, you can't help but come away with knowing that in the beginning God created. Right. And uh, He did it His way, and He chose to use six 24-hour periods, and on that seventh day He rested. Sure. And that's the same model that we, as you already pointed out, that we need to, uh, that we need to emulate as well. So I just thank, uh, thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for sharing with us. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ask LBC. I uh, hope you guys can join us again next time.